Well now, this is a hell of a way to start off a trip. So thank God for State Trailer Supply. If you folks are in the Salt Lake City area and you need anything for your RV, any kind of part, State Trailer almost is guaranteed to have it. They had the exact replacement that I needed. As a matter of fact, not only did they have that, they had an entire aisle of nothing but vents and vent covers. There had to have been 30 different choices. They closed at seven. I got there at 6.40. We're gonna be ready to go in the morning. So after getting that roof and lid fixed, we headed out here to the Strawberry area in Northern Utah. This is a very popular area surrounding Strawberry Reservoir. We're actually up on Forest Road 150, also known as Mud Creek Road, uh, for a beautiful boondocking spot here with our friends Dan and Beth who just picked up this absolutely adorable uh, new travel trailer. They just picked it up Thursday night. So this is kind of their shakedown cruise. Uh, also, we're gonna be joined by friends Dale and Pat who are coming up here for dinner. So. Let me first show you around camp a little bit.
The Mug Creek Road getting up to our camp can be a bit rough and rutted in places. Confident towing and high ground clearance are both a must. There's a large boondocking area at the base of the Mug Creek Road that's easily accessible by any rig. But the Strawberry area is a very popular area on weekends, and the base of the road is a bit too busy for our taste. The Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest maintains a massive campground at Strawberry Bay, with 25 double campsites and a whopping 321 single sites, 26 of which have full hookups. Rates for the single sites range from $23 to $36 per day and are reservable on recreation.gov. There's a dump station near the entrance to Strawberry Bay with potable water for a $10 fee. The Strawberry Bay Recreation Complex also includes a large marina with boat ramp, a small inn, and a store and restaurant, complete with gas pumps, boat rentals, and fishing supplies. We were intending to do some kayaking and fishing this weekend on Strawberry Reservoir, but with stormy weather closing in, we opted instead to just let our dogs swim for a bit. Formed when the Strawberry Dam was constructed in 1913, and enlarged to over 17,000 acres by the Soldier Creek Dam in 1972, Strawberry Reservoir would normally be part of the Colorado River drainage. Some of the water stored in the reservoir is still released to the Strawberry River to provide fishery flows, but most of the stored water is diverted through the Wasatch Mountains, beneath where we're camped, to Utah's population center along the Wasatch Front. Strawberry Reservoir offers excellent boating, water skiing, and canoeing and kayaking. Utah's most popular fishery, anglers fish for rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, and kokanee salmon. Other popular activities in the Strawberry area include hiking, biking, and horseback riding. The Strawberry OHV trail system offers 75 miles of trails. We made the right decision against heading out onto the water today. Utah's summers are typically hot and dry, but we've encountered all manner of weather on this trip. Sunshine, clouds, thunder, rain, and yes, even small hail. Still, we have no intention of letting the weather put a damper on our camping weekend.
So that's going to do it for our quick trip to Strawberry. If you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, make sure that you hit that little red subscribe button down there in the corner and ring that notification bell. Now we put out new outdoor travel adventure videos each and every Wednesday. So we'd be honored if you shared Grand Adventure with your friends, family, and on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section down below each video. And perhaps most importantly to us, if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you soon.